Hello, Chief Architect users. Um, I've got a quick video here. I get a lot of questions about improving speed through um, some new workflow methods. You know, what, what methods do I use that considerably increase my, my drafting speed? And one of those methods is utilizing the various marquee select tools. And I'll illustrate what I mean. Right now, we have a marquee select set to um, select based on center. So that if I drag my cursor, across the center here, the center of, of these, I've got three CAD boxes, right? Closed CAD boxes. I've got marquee select by center. You saw that if I just dragged a selection box around the center of this, all it selects is that exterior box, that box around these two center boxes. If I change that to select contained objects, okay, that's going to select anything that's fully contained by my marquee selection. All right, so that box is fully contained. If I fully contained both of these boxes, if I fully contain all three boxes. And then the last one being select intersected objects. Intersected objects, well, as you imagine, if I make a selection box and it crosses the path of two objects, three objects, etc., it's going to select by intersected. So we've got um, select by center, we've got select contained, and we've got select intersected. Pretty cool. Now, the problem with these selection tools is they're kind of buried. They're buried in the edit menu under preferences, the submenu of the edit menu again, and under marquee selection, you see select intersected objects, select contained objects. So that if I click this, select contained objects, you're going to notice this icon over here just switched. Um, so now we're select by contained objects, right? If I select intersected objects, I can go back to edit preferences. What I'm illustrating right now is that unlike many of the preferences in the preferences menu, um, the marquee selection tools can be added to your toolbar and it's a simple task. Let's right click on our toolbar, customize toolbar, and I can type in marquee and here's my selection modes. If I hit that little carrot over, it turns into a down carrot, and we get our submenu items. I can sit and drag this up into a toolbar, and there it should reside. There it goes right there. It created a new toolbar subset here. So I can grab all three of these, line them up, and now I can change my selection modes. You're gonna see these are duplicates of the ones I have in my sidebar here, so as I select them, Obviously, they change here, they change in preferences. Anyways, that's a really powerful tool for being able to, you know, if you've got a really complicated plan, a lot of layers turned on, and you're trying to select something specific, I oftentimes am, am changing these selection modes. Uh, additionally, you can uh, set a hotkey to these modes as, as well, which, you know, even further enhances the speed of your workflow, especially when it comes to selecting. And, and this is separate from the marquee select tool in your... Um, in your active toolbar. All right, hope that helps someone. Go ahead and leave comments with questions.